This video talks about factoring, which I found that my students in the past have, have really not cared for. And I, I kind of don't understand that. Uh, it's just what we've covered before when we said, okay, now we're going to teach you how to distribute uh, polynomials. And they were okay with that. But now moving backwards, they, they, really, they really don't like it. <laughs> but it's not that bad. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this video will help you see that it, it's really easy. It's just a matter of guessing right and following the order of things. Okay, so now, here is the distributive property. And factoring is nothing more than the distributive property. If we distribute A to both, si or, uh, to both B and C, then we simply get the product of A and B and the product of A and C, and we add them together according to the sign. Okay, that's the distributive property. Now, factoring goes the other way. We are going to be given this and we are going to have to bring a common factor out that's the difference it's it, there's no forwards and backwards on the distributive property really the equal sign is is bidirectional so you can go both ways all right so let's take an example and see if we can uh, see if we can figure this out just a little bit let's say i have something that looks like 5x to the third plus 10x squared minus 35x plus 15. And I want to factor this, uh, this uh, expression out. If I'm going to factor it out, what I have to ask myself is, what factor do all of them have in common? In other words, what did I have to multiply to get all of these numbers in there? And if you look, each number has a factor of 5 in common. 5 goes into every single number here. And so I can go ahead and pull that 5 out. But if I do, you'll notice that I divided by A from both B or A, B, and A, C up here. That's how I brought the A out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the 5 out. And now I'm going to divide each term by 5 and put the result inside a set of parentheses, just like they have here. So I say 5x cubed divided by 5. Well, 5 divided by 5 is just 1, so I get 1x cubed. Plus 10 divided by 5 is 2x squared. A negative 35 divided by 5 is a negative 7 x and then a positive 15 divided by 5 is a positive 3 and that's the answer that's all it is on our next example here we're going to go ahead and introduce uh, another factor that can come out that some people in when they start this they kind of forget about it and so we have, let's say we have uh, 7x cubed minus 14x squared plus 28x. And we want to factor this. Okay, and I'm going to leave the, up at the top here, I'm going to leave my, my first example up here so you can see and refer back to it. And so I have to ask myself, what is in common with all three terms? What can I, what would I multiply into this polynomial in order to get all three terms? And so to do that, I pull out the greatest common factor, which is not limited to numbers. Each one has a factor of 7 in it. Okay, so I can pull out a 7. However, if you look, there's an x cubed in here. In other words, there's three x's there's two x's, there's one x. Every one of them has at least one x. So I can pull an x out as well. So now, let's go through this just like we did before. 7 divided by 7 is 1. However, we can't just write x cubed because we pull an x out. We had three x's, we took one out, we have two left. 
negative 14 divided by 7 is a negative 2. We had two x's. We pulled one out. That leaves us with 1. Now we have a positive 28 divided by 7 is a positive 4. We had 1x. We took one out. There's no more left there. And so if we were to go ahead and rewrite this slightly, we'd have 7x times 1x squared is just x squared minus 2x plus 4. At this point, and, and, and we'll talk about this a little later in, in a subsequent video, but uh, at this point, now you have two factors. You have 1 and 2. There is nothing saying that these two factors can't themselves be factored more. So just because you've gotten an answer, don't think that you're quite done. Okay, this is, this is the heart and soul of factoring. When you try to factor out binomials, so it's not 7x, but say something like 7x squared plus 5 or something like that, then it, it becomes just a little bit different, but I'll cover that, don't worry.